The United States has assassinated an Iranian general and the head of an Iraqi paramilitary force in an airstrike at Baghdad International Airport. The U.S. Embassy is urging all Americans to leave the country. The Iraqi government is outraged and says the strike inside the airport, inside the capital, and without their permission is going to lead to war. Major General Qasem Soleimani was the head of the Quds Force, an elite unit responsible for the Iranian military's foreign operations and an architect of Iran's proxy wars in the Middle East. Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis oversaw the coalition of Iraqi militia units supported by Iran, known as the Popular Mobilization Forces, which are technically part of the Iraqi government's security apparatus. It's understood that rockets hit two vehicles carrying the leaders. This is a dramatic escalation and a divisive one on the streets of Iraq. Spontaneous celebrations broke out in Iraq's Tahrir Square on news of the killings. Iran's influence in Iraq, especially in the security services, is part of the motive for the anti-government protests that have swept Iraq for months in which hundreds have been killed. But at the same time, it was the killing of members of those Iran-backed militia over the weekend by a separate U.S. airstrike that sparked the two-day siege of the American embassy by its supporters. Protests organized by the militia, a siege that ended less than 24 hours before this latest incident. The Pentagon says Soleimana's killing was a, quote, defensive action to protect government employees and soldiers abroad and to deter future acts by Iran. <laughs> Soleimani's reach spread across the wars in Syria, Iraq, and he had strong ties to Lebanon's Hezbollah. And the U.S. has blamed Iran for attacks on American forces in Iraq, as well as the high-profile airstrikes on Saudi oil facilities. He led the Quds Force for over 20 years and survived multiple assassination attempts over that time from the West, the Israelis and the Saudis as well. Tehran is vowing revenge.